Oh, perfect. I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Okay, sorry for the delay and problems. Um, yeah. Auto NLP, Automated Natural Language Processing, uh, is a new subfield sub -field of um, Auto ML and uh, automates the process of making uh, NLP tasks. There are um, already some Auto NLP toolkits like uh, AutoTrain, Metatex, and uh, Neural Space. AutoTrain uh, developed, is developed by Hugging Face and um, streamlines the process of training and implement, implementing NLP models. One of the key features of um, AutoTrain is the ability to fine tune the models hosted under um, Hugging Face Hub. This platform currently has over 14,000 models available, which can be filtered based on the specific task, uh, language, and data set. Um, the other kind of NLP toolkits like Metatex and uh, Neural Space also streamlines the uh, process of um, process of making NLP models and uh, in different tasks like classification, question answering, and entity recognition. Uh, the problem is that the entire auto NLP toolkits are paid version and investigating auto NLP is critical because it can significantly enhance uh, the performance of tasks related to natural language processing um, in various industry and applications. Building upon the related work uh, in the field which has explored the effectiveness of text representation methods and uh, NLP tasks, analyzing how different text representation methods affect the performance of AutoML systems could be a likely starting point for developing uh, open access AutoNLP. Our research aims to provide a deeper understanding of how this text representations method can um, be um, the best one for AutoPyTorch, one AutoML framework, and uh, to develop it in the direction of auto NLP. There are two types of text representation methods, contextual and non-contextual. Um, non-contextual word embeddings give each word a fixed vector in a table, and this vector doesn't change uh, no matter where and how the word is used. But uh, in contextual text representation method, we, um, the model give a word um, a dynamic vector, and it can change uh, based on uh, the place where the word is in relation between the word with other words and sentences. Um, in this slide, you can see the text representation methods which we used in this work, contextual and non-contextual, and I go short through them. Bert builds on the transformer architecture use a self-attention mechanism to understand the contextual relationships between word and text. Uh, LSA or um, Latin semantic analysis is a technique that uh, is a technique in natural language processing that captures the semantic meaning of uh, words based on their usage in a large text, identifying relevant words and underlying topics through methods like keyword matching or SVD. Uh, one hat encoding is a simple one that is a it's a non-contextual one and it gives a word uh, in a sentence one and uh, in a big matrix and the others are just zeros. Uh, and it doesn't capture the relation between the words um, with other words. And Keras tokenization, it's uh, not a representation method. It's just a method that we can use for uh, converting the text into the numeric uh, inputs for our model. AutoPyTorch is automation framework for the deep learning process, streamlining the optimization of a neural network architecture and training hyperparameters through multi-fidelity optimization. Um, the input embedding system of AutoPyTorch can 
process data in the various format automatically. But uh, there are just two text representation methods built in in the uh, in autopilot. One of them is one hat encoding, and the other one is no encoder. Uh, but both of them are uh, non contextual. Here you can see the data sets which we used in this work. Um, we utilized various binary classification tags. Uh, kept at 8,000 entries to prevent memory issues um, with AutoPyTorch. The Colbert data set um, is a data set which is annotated to detect the humor in text. Cola is a um, text which uh, is annotated to figuring out which sentence has a grammatical error. Uh, IMBD includes movie reviews labeled by sentiment um, and primarily used for sentiment analysis tests. Sarcasm detection is a balanced data set and containing news headlines marked as uh, either sarcastic or not. And finished sentence data set um, is a data set annotated again, and uh, a data set again included um, news headlines and is annotated for. Um, the task if the sentence is completed or not. In this study, we conducted five experiments to evaluate the performance of autopilot in binary classification tests using different text representation methods, including contextual and non-contextual representation methods. Um, in the picture, you can see the, um, our experiments in the configuration one. Uh, we just gave the autopilot our text uh, because we wanted to use the built. We wanted to evaluate the built-in um, text representation methods of autopilot. In uh, configurations five, in configuration two, we used Keras tokenization and. Uh, during it, at first we converted the data, the text data, to the numeric, and with this method we could bypass the built-in uh, text representation method in autopilot. Uh, in the third configuration, we used batch model, but without fine tuning, just as a text representation method, and after that LSA. In the uh, fifth one. At the beginning, we uh, fine tuned the batch model on our five different data sets and made five different models. And then we use these models to um, embed our data. And the output is given to the autopilot model. To evaluate the performance of each configuration, we use two command metric in the field of machine learning, particularly in text class in the classification tests, the area under precision recall curve and uh, micro averaged F1 score. Both metrics are useful in evaluate, evaluating the performance of the model, but they provide different perspective on the model's performance. Um, micro average F1 score offers a balance between precision and recall while um, area under precision recall curve uh, focuses on the positive, sam positive samples. To provide a more comprehensive view um, of our experiments and to observe the impact of text representation methods per test, we have organized the results according to each data set across all five experiments. The study finds um, that sorry, the start the study finds that fine-tuned benchmark perform um, well on humor detection data set and is followed by LSA, which is um, which uses the dimension reduction. But on the other hand, we saw that non-contextual methods didn't per perform well and it's uh, it's performed well because uh, they cannot capture the nuances of humor like uh, wordplay, cultural background, and um, context. The results of the experiment and the 
experiment on uh, grammatical errors show that a non-deep learning approach presents strong performance as well as contextual performance. And that could because that could be because of uh, pattern dependency of these tasks. Results in that both non-deep learning. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the difference between PRC and F1 score is because of it could be because of the overfitting uh, for the approach with non-representative methods and paired base. The results of experiment on IMBD data set indicates that simpler methods like one hat encoding and non-representation could effectively identify strong sentiment indicators in movie reviews. This is due to the presence or absence of uh, polarizing words. And uh, fine tune Bert at outperformed but had a narrow lead uh, over Bert base in identifying the positive samples. The results of uh, sarcasm detection show that um, fine-tuned badge and non-representation methods um, exhibited the best performance. The good performance of non-representation method is maybe because of certain patterns, uh, certain patterns in the data set. Uh, we did some further study after we got the results, and it came out that the phrases like uh, Kamala Harris or Anderson Cooper appeared often in the non-sarcastic sentences, and it helped the autopilot to find the non-sarcastic sentences easier, but it's not generally generalizable. And uh, the results of the experiment and the last data set showed that fine-tuned batch model outperformed other models, demonstrating their ability to effectively capture the necessary uh, the necessary contextual information to determine whether a sentence is completed or not. Uh, the the low average of or obtained by the non-representation method suggests that the model made by autopilot struggles to distinguish between false positive and false negative, and it may indicate that the classifier is overfitted. Okay. In summary, across all five um, data sets, the fine-tuned batch model consistently uh, outperform other text representation methods, achieving superior results in both the IUPRC and F1 score. This demonstrates that um, th this demonstrates the effectiveness of uh, fine-tuned batch model in capturing the nuances and contextual information required for various binary text classification tests. Furthermore, it has highlights the effective, the, effect, um, the efficiency of fine-tuned batch model um, for the um, feature extraction test, which could be a good uh, way for AutoML to use. However, our study also reveals that simple text translation methods such as the one-hat encoding as well as non-representation methods can still achieve relatively high performance and specific tasks such as grammatical error detection or pattern dependence tests. Uh, the 2D that you can show, uh, you can see in the picture show the optional improvement in autopilot performance for binary classification tests using fine-tuned batch model for the text representation versus Methods that study. Um, and it shows uh, it shows that uh, the best representation could be the best one for integrating autopilot. Um, the future work could be um, investigating other advanced contextual text representation methods such as Roberta or GPT. Um, the other thing that uh, we want 
going to to examine the uh, examining the performance of auto pytorch and multi class multi class text class LP tasks. Important one is that we find out that the batch model is the best text representation method, which could be integrated in our in auto pytorch and. Um, yeah, we want to try to integrate it in the next steps. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.